I, I once presented a woman at work with what I now realize was a deeply inappropriate gift. <laughs> David Seen. What was the gift? Uh, <laughs> dustpan and brush. <laughs> and what was the context in which you gave her a dustpan and brush? It was her birthday. <laughs> And oh, no. what, where were you working? Uh, that was uh, the company I was working for before I left for Britain. And what did they do? Essentially, they tried to bundle the demand of golf clubs. Oh. They, oh, tried they tried to, to what? <laughs> bundle. So they wanted... So not golf club as in a stick, but a golf club as in the whole thing with 18 oh, holes right. and facilities. Yes. And, and you did, they did what to them? Try to bundle it. Bundle. You know, that's a company that tried to bundle 18 old <laughs> golf clubs. <laughs> you know, when you run a golf club, you've got certain needs. You need balls for the driving range, you need flags for the holes and whatnot. And obviously, the manufacturers, they uh, overcharge you. Whilst if all the clubs come together and buy. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I'm only speaking on behalf of the nation. <laughs> I <don't... laughs> I think I'm getting there. This was a company that organised... organised separate golf yeah. clubs to act as a consortium That's in order to way. buy golfing equipment more inexpensively. That is That so... is exactly, concisely the business plan. Exactly <laughs> right. right. And what was your role? Uh, Chief bundler. <laughs> uh, trying to recruit new members to the consortium. And went round to golf clubs for a jolly and then said, uh, how about you need a flag? <laughs> how much you... Uh... It, so, it sounds ever so yeah, slightly exactly. like a sort of um, a... Yeah. Like a mob protection <laughs> racket. It sounds like you turned up and go, what a shame if something were to happen to this flag. <laughs> Oops, oh. it snapped. <laughs> Was it particularly difficult yeah. selling the bunkers? <laughs> genuine question. A genuine, genuine interest. <laughs> and why, why did you think that a dustpan and brush would be an appropriate present to start with? Because we were... Uh, the day before, she was saying how much cleaning she had to do at home. <laughs> and then I was in the supermarket, and then I thought, oh, yeah, look at that, that would be a nice present. <laughs> Could you reenact the face of the gift recipient when she opened the present? Do you want me to be you and you be the gift recipient? Yeah, give me. I'll, I'll do my best to you. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I have seen you trying to sell the flags and the clubs, like me. <laughs> <laughs> you do such a great job. <laughs> we are bringing together so many of the different golf clubs in Germany. <laughs> We should get a Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> but instead, I got you this. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Alex, when, you, when yeah. you're there on, on, on the one show, do you, do you exchange gifts? Do you and Matt Baker? Do you, uh... <laughs> it's me, Matt Baker! Do you, do you uh... <laughs> has bought me a variety of gifts over the years. Last year, a cup and saucer. <laughs> it's one of those you'd put in a posh cupboard in your kitchen. There's only one ever, and it's in that one. It's nice, I always think, in your house to put a few things aside for people to pack away when you're dead. <laughs> in my house. You put them there, you sort of think, yeah, I won't be, I won't be touching that again, but one day, when I'm dead, someone will have to deal with that. <laughs> all right, well, David, what do you think? I think we'll all die one day. <laughs> um, Is it the I, truth? It's true. I think it's true. Well, I think we, we think it's true. It's true? Yeah. OK. Henning, was it true or was it a lie? Of course it's true. <laughs> <laughs> hey!